Hey YouTubers, welcome to Let's Play Tom. Let's look at Resident Evil bathrooms. In Zero, we have a single men's room servicing the entire Umbrella facility, training grounds, and underground lab. And of course, surprise, it's occupied by Deep Stomp. I hate those things. I hate them so much. I wish they were never invented. Up next we have classic Resident Evil. Um, the clip is from later on in the playthrough. Uh, so I've already killed the tub zombie, but this is just a regular old bathroom. Nothing too special about it. It's literally just toilet, bathtub, sink. Now, when you originally um, play this one, it's actually really cool because you pull that plug and this zombie comes up. If that's a spoiler and you're watching a video about Resident Evil bathrooms, then you're easily watching the wrong video. This is the weirdest bathroom in the game for me. Like, ever. This is actually what kind of tipped this off for me. Um, I'm playing this through Pro right now, and I had to actually go back a ways to backtrack to this bathroom. Like an old save, and uh, I know there's a Ganado in there. Just wait, because once you get in there, it's mind-blowing. Shotgun shells. One to the head, one to the gut. That's what it takes in a row. It's pretty damn hard. But there's a toilet paper dispenser. And a urinal. No sink, no toilet. Toilet paper dispenser. Urinal. No sense to me. I also hate how static everything was in this one. But then I found out that there's a really cool knife. I don't think I ever noticed this in the original on the Cube or the Wii. Um, but that knife's pretty cool. And uh, Resident Evil 6 is a weird one because I, I feel like Capcom didn't understand how appliances worked when they made this game. So you run through that bar and that bar literally has no bathrooms, nothing like that. You went through the whole university, there's no bathrooms. You get to these people's house and... Um, this was actually recorded because of how, like, eerie of the scene it was originally, but, um, they have a fridge in their living room. They don't have a kitchen, they don't have a bathroom, but they have a fridge just chilling out next to their couch. I don't know why, this is their whole house. Their whole house is one L-shaped hallway and a living room with a fridge in it. I don't get it. Now, Revelations 2 actually has probably the most realistic bathroom setup in most of the games, because the whole mansion with that one single bathroom was kind of weird for the first one. Um, but there's actually men and women's bathrooms in the mansion. Now, granted, you have to take a huge elevator from the surface down there to get to it, but it's there. So, Resident Evil 7, Biohazard, whatever you want to call it, uh, has probably the most almost normal bathroom in the game. That goes to Remake. Um, but this one, there are two things that I don't get. Why there's a lamp inside of the bathroom, and then why the tub has its own water wall in the middle. You go back in time using the VHS's and band footage, and that lamp is missing from the shower. So, did they add that lamp into the shower as sort of a weird, kooky electrocute yourself type thing with Lucas behind all that. I don't know. But this is Let's Play Tom uh, talking about bathrooms in Resident Evil and trying a new voiceover method. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe.